Okay. okay, this is a video for self-inflicted on DJ forums. Um, basically, how to get to uh, Maya 44 USB and VCI 100 to work well with Tractor. Um, first step, obviously, you're gonna want to get uh, your output set up so you have one output going to the master, one output go your Q output going to your headphones. Uh, there is a headphone output on the Maya 44, but that's going to monitor all the outputs on the device, which is not what you want. So you're going to pick up something like this. It's a 1 8 female to RCA male. Uh, plug those into your Maya 44. I use outputs 3 and 4. Uh, it's important to remember, it doesn't matter what outputs you use, but it's important to note uh, which ones you do use to make so when you set up in Tractor, uh, you know what you're doing. So take your. 1 8th end on your headphones, plug that into there, and now plug your master into the remaining outputs. Uh, I use computer speakers, so I actually need another one of these bad boys, because I'm too broke to afford a monitor. And plug that up. So, right now this is what my setup looks like. Oh, son of a bitch. just pan down a little bit because I can't bring this all the way up. So right now I have one output going to three and four, and I have one output going to one and two. This is my master output. Put that down. And that's really all you have to set up hardware-wise for uh, the sound. The really tricky part comes into the software side. So now I'm going to show you what to do inside Tractor to get your outputs routed correctly, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so here you are in Tractor. Uh, I already have two tracks queued up and ready to go. So let's go into our preferences and set up our audio outputs. Uh, first thing you want to go is into audio setup. Make sure you choose the right driver. We're using the USB audio uh, my 4 driver. Uh, go into your settings just to make sure that uh, everything's set up properly. This is the uh, main panel. You choose a driver. Uh, different options. This is probably the most important thing that you're going to mess with the most is your system performance. If you're suffering from any type of audio dropouts, try lowering the performance here uh, until you can get it so you're not having any dropouts at all. Uh, this is going to vary from system to system. I'm just using normal right now. Um, and then in controls. Uh, I'm not using the input so I have all the inputs muted. You could probably even go here and just disable input. but. Uh, I have output not muted, I have turned all the way out. So double, triple check if you're having any problems, triple check this isn't muted because that could be a really like simple thing to uh, fix any problems you're having. Uh, after that you're going to go into output routing, and this is where you choose what outputs are going to what speaker. So if you remember correctly we had our headphones going into outputs 3 and 4 and our speakers going into outputs 1 and 2. Now, here in this program, it lists them 0 through 3. I've seen it listed in other programs 1 through 4. It's the same concept. 0 is obviously the very first, is the one on the hardware, and then just goes up from there. So, I have my speakers were plugged into 1 and 2 on the Maya, so I'm using 0 and 1 here. And my headphones are plugged up to 3 and 4 on the Maya, so I'm using 2 and 3 here. Very simple stuff. Um, that's really all you need to set up audio wise, so let's close that out. Uh, I'm going to play a track here. See, I have it live. It's up. You can probably hear that. And I'm going to cue a track on deck B, not going out to the master, only going out to the headphones. And now you can probably hear I'm going to turn the master down so you can hear this. So, software-wise, we've successfully set everything up. That's really all you need to do to be able to get two separate outputs going and really get into your mixing. If you have any other problems, uh, you can contact me on DJ Forums, uh, you can email me, I respond in emails all day. Um, so yeah, hopefully this video is able to help you. Um, I guess that's it.